So if you have been to either of the 2021 or 2022 Grow Retreats, you might have seen me on stage with one of these two beautiful violins. And I want to walk you through why I have one, two violins, but two, how I got to where I have two violins. Because these are actually both incredibly nice violins, um, not particularly cheap violins. They're uh, really, really, really nice. And I have quite a bit of fun time playing on both of them. But there's a reason why I still have both of them and how I got to here. So story time. Back in 2019, I really, so I've been playing the violin since high school. I, long story there, but I ended up getting like one lesson and then my instructor had to move. And so I just kept playing on my own, but I didn't really have an instructor. And then when I graduated and I got a job, the violin ended up just getting put away. I still had the, I played on a, a black um, electric violin <clears throat> and I still had it, but it was just kind of under the couch in my bedroom, not really getting played or paid attention to. And in 2019, spring 2019, it was a late one evening. And I just remember really needing some creativity space and not really wanting to dig out the paints to go paint because I can spend an hour, two hours, three hours painting and it was late and I wanted to go to bed, but I wanted to do something. So I went to the bedroom and I pulled out my violin for the first time. And I will tell you, there is something incredibly cathartic and therapeutic about the violin just being placed right here and the vibration against your, your, um, collarbone, just drawing out all the stress and frustration and it's incredible to experience. <clears throat> and so I played for a little bit that night and then I actually started playing every day, picking it up every single day. And at one point in time, I was commenting to Susanna, a member of my team, also my sister, who is a classically trained pianist, that I was really frustrated. I wasn't really making the sounds that I wanted to make on the violin, and I wasn't sure how to progress with that. And she was the one who came to me and said, well, why don't you get an instructor? And I said, well, that's a great idea. So I get an instructor, and I very quickly realized that the violin I was playing on, my, my old electric, was not a great fit. And so I go out to go shopping for violins, and I come back with Honey. And Honey has this really incredible, um, Honey is her name, by the way, because she's got these beautiful Honey shoulders, and oh, love her. Um, but she has this really incredible skill set where she amplifies everything I do on the violin. So when I sound great, I sound really great. And when I make a mistake, everybody knows. <laughs> and it was really frustrating for a long time to hear the amount of mistakes that I was making on the violin because she was not letting <clears throat> anything slide. Everyone could tell every mistake that I made on her. And if you saw me at the 2021 Grow Retreat for the closing keynote, she was the violin that I ended up playing that keynote on because I found there was something really incredible about being able to draw in uh, driving home points about business and using music and the violin to really take those points home. So I, uh, I used her and we ended up having to, to jury rig a mic that came up over the uh, bridge here, the, this little wooden part, and to try and pick up the sound. And the entire time I was playing, I had to like be careful not to bump the mic. It was, it was a little bit of a nightmare. So I said, okay, let's look into what are some of my, my alternate options. And there are plenty of options out there to amplify a violin. Um, some of them, there's risk of damage to the violin, which I really didn't want to do. There was all kinds of things going on. And then I found out that there is a company out of Germany called Mezzoforte that would build a violin. This is actually a carbon fiber violin. It is painted to look like wood, which I think they did a phenomenal job. Um, but it's actually a carbon fiber violin that has a built-in pickup. And so I can plug in the mic directly to Rosalita here and just play and not have to worry about hitting mics or, or any kinds of problems whatsoever. So I ended up picking up Rosalita. I, I had her custom made uh, about halfway through last year and um, it took uh, like three months for her to get made and get to me after months and months of research. And then she arrived and I discovered very quickly that uh, when I ordered her, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep both violins or if I would sell Honey to pay for Rosa because they're both decently expensive violins. And so when I got her here, I discovered very quickly that they both have superpowers. 
So Honey really does an amazing job of making me a better violinist. She does not let me get away with any anything, right? She makes sure everyone knows what's going on. Rosa makes me sound amazing. She somehow kind of quiets the mistakes, but still amplifies, so she sounds phenomenal. And so very, very quickly, I realized that there was a place to keep both violins, one to practice on and become a better player, and the other one for performances. And so my whole point with all of this is twofold. First of all, if I had waited until I could afford to buy either of these violins, I would never have gotten here. Sometimes there is just value in taking action with where you're at to just move yourself and your business forward. And so I dug out that silly little black violin and I played on that for a few months. And then it's a matter of knowing when it is time to upgrade. And sometimes it's also a matter of knowing when do I need the right tool. There are not there are situations that Rosa is not a fit for and there are situations that Honey is not a fit for. And that's really important to keep track of. So my two points for you, my takeaways is one, take action. Done is better than perfect when it comes to moving yourself and your business forward. You'll grow and you'll level up. And two, if you're having trouble moving forward, if you're struggling, it may be time to look at, are you using the right tools to keep yourself and your business moving forward with the skill sets that you have developed?